bridge near Luxor that crosses the Nile. We'll come above you. We'll get the view from below. Sorry. <laughs> As we cruise through this area later on today. It's the 6th day of October and we're crossing the Nile. Heading to the, I think it's the East Bank. Or West Bank. We're going to the East Bank. Or West Bank. The West. Yeah, okay, that's right. We're heading to the West Bank of the Nile. I should have known that because the sun's on the other side. So anyway, that's not important. Still see some of the green lush area. And not too far off in the distance is the desert. So this is where we are. This part is not existent. Just a model of what we're about to see. In the first terrace of that, the one from the the only thing survived was. But the rest of the outer buildings actually will be vacated or demolished a lot this time. And the highlight for us, in the place in this, we still have the first, second, and third terrace, and we found also traces of uh, silver plantation, so which means there was a canal all the way to here. With the line of the statues on the lady. Represent her like a man, mummified figures be at the front of the pillars, which is also a part of the works were seen. Action suit, also she added two shrines. The second terrace, the one in the middle, one to the extreme right and one to the extreme left. They were seven. Okay, we're at the uh... Chicken soup, lady hot chicken soup. It's like a big museum here. We just saw inside basically the scale of this. This was right after we left the Valley of the Kings. We were not allowed to videotape there, so. This is the 6th of October. And this is what we're seeing. We're going to go take these little train things to get a little closer. We can peep up the walking. Wow. It takes about one hour and a half to go from side to side. You see, you go all the way up and down. That's what he said. It takes about an hour to go up and down. And this heat, I'll pass. It's like going in the Grand Canyon, but you're going up instead of going down. You go side to side. But anyway, this is just not too far from Luxor, Egypt. I don't. Okay, now. We're here in Luxor, or just outside of Luxor, Egypt. We're going to this. Um, Museum here. Uh, my guy called it hot chicken soup or lit. hot shit soup. Yeah, and that one too. And we're gonna go take a tour and see what's inside. This place was created 1500 BC. It's 1500 before Christ. So it's been around for a while, several thousands of years. We're going and see what there is to see and let you know if it's finally interesting. Hi, grandsons. A little more of the complex as we look to our far, my far left. Just kind of pan around. You see again some of the structures there. I don't know if we'll go inside them or not. Then you got these fixtures here. And I don't know if it's natural carvings or just for, or what. And you got the mountains and stuff. You got bands, but of course that's not part of the exhibit. And then this way all this is what we're gonna be going up in there. Kind of like going to the Great Wall of China, but not quite as steep, and not quite as long, but the idea you see people going back and forth to the common area like that. And then you circle back around towards my right. And you can see like we saw the people up there climbing. I'll pass. And then here's the rock formation. And on the other side of all this, it's basically the Sahara Desert. So this is where we are. As we're looking away from the tomb, or temple rather, we can see the green fertile area, not too far in the distance. That's where we just came from. So you can see we're pretty much right where the green fertile land and the desert kind of come together. I will slowly turn around, and you can see the mountains, and then back around, and this is where we're headed. So we're not too far away from the green stuff. There's about 100 degrees here right now, maybe. And it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning local time, and it's pretty hot, but we're surviving. As we head towards the train, and all this stuff was built, as far as we know, as far as the historians can tell, about 1500 BC before Christ. He told me you're going to stay. To stay here? 
Mm -hmm. The visitor center? 1500 BC. This is the state. You guess you can call it a staircase that we just climbed up. <laughs> they do have a little bit of a stairs. But we took this stone road up, so to speak. And then these holes. With a couple of bits that are sticking out. These mountains are for tombs, see. Very people years ago. Well, it's actually called a cemetery. I guess you have to be kind of like an honorary person to be buried. Okay. So anyway, you see more people coming, some leaving, and we're about to go in. And a little bit closer to the to the, uh, the museum or whatever this is. It says culture the um, here we're going up to this. see the stuff up here but probably take a photo somewhere in this area there's Miss Jardine she's getting her snapshots in hi sweetie yeah see she's still, that's, that's still her still sweeties Nona grandma Linda all kinds of names <laughs> all the same person <laughs> And this is what we just took a few photos of. This one in particular, I was in front of as well as Jardine. And this, that's what we came up here to see. Now we want to take some of the background behind us with the green stuff and then we should be good. Oh, yeah.